Hi everyone, Tara Whitney from Whitney Consulting. We write grants, tenders and business cases and you can contact us or find out about us on the website whitneyconsulting.com.au which is w-h-i-t-n-e-y consulting. So today I wanted to talk to you about what uh, some things I learned from being a grants assessor. So I was a grants assessor for about seven years for the WA State Department of Regional Development and throughout that time, obviously, I learned a few things about grants assessors and um, people that write grants and, and how assessors view them. So I thought it would be helpful to share those with you and I will run through a few of those today. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is that I learned that grants assessors don't necessarily know everything. So a lot of people seem to think that because the particular grant is about a certain topic, that grants assessors will be absolutely across every single thing on that topic, absolute experts in it. And that's not necessarily the case. Grants assessors are experts in their grant program. So they know all about their grant program, what they will and won't fund and how they assess it and how they do their due diligence. They don't necessarily know everything about your project and the, the topic that it's about. So you can't use too much jargon and um, all those sorts of you know, technical details. You really do need to, to make it understandable by a, a reasonably normal person. So you can't just assume that you can, can um, you know, put off all these, these te technical terms and that it's gonna be understood. You've got to give some sort of an explanation as to that. And don't assume that they know you know that they know your location and everything about your organization so a lot of people when writing their grant applications do assume a bit of knowledge they assume that the grant assessor knows a few things don't assume that assume that you're talking to someone who doesn't necessarily know about your organization your location your project or even the topic in, at hand it may happen that they the um, if it's very technical that the the grant application might be passed on to somebody who is an expert in the area but it may not. It may just be that it doesn't get funded because they can't see the value and the benefits to your project. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is that um, I realised a lot of people oversell and try to um, they try to really convince and pitch too much in their grant applications. And what happens there is that they fail to explain exactly what they're going to do. So quite often as a grants assessor, I had to go all the way to the end of the grant application to the budget, read through the budget and each of the items in the budget to actually understand what the project was doing. Because the project, the grant application had said, it's going to be a wonderful project and we're going to deliver all these amazing benefits. It's going to have this benefit and that benefit and we're really capable and we can do it. Do what? They didn't actually say what they were going to do. So make sure that when you are writing your grant application, you answer the questions. And if it asks you to describe your project, you describe your project before then going into all the benefits of the project. What is the project? So make sure that is something that you do because as an assessor, I had to do that many, many times and it drove me crazy because I'd read halfway through a document and still not be able to understand what was being done. The next thing um, I learned as being a grants assessor is that people can't really add up very well. Now this shouldn't be a surprise to me because I'm not that great at maths, but um, the budgets often didn't add up. Now I do understand it's not because people can't add up. It is generally because what happens is you change and tinker with your budget. Things go in and out and, and it always changed to, to meet perhaps the, the grant amount or your budget, whatever it is. So things go in and out and your budget changes and then it's not checked before it's submitted in a thorough, thorough manner. So each item needs to be really checked and you need to make sure that everything adds up because if you don't, if your budget doesn't add up, we don't necessarily as grants assessors know what's correct. So exactly how much money are you asking for? If we don't know that because the budget doesn't add up, it's very hard to give you the money. And that leads on to so the next point, which is the attention to detail. A lot of times in grant applications, there's a lack of attention to detail and that can cause your grants assessor a bit of anxiety in terms of we just don't know. So if throughout your application, you talk about two programs and then all of a sudden in another place you say three 
or um, you know, there's there's those sorts of inconsistencies, um, and it happens quite a quite a bit where you know you might say it's going to be a, a six month project, and then all of a sudden somewhere else it says eight months, and you're thinking, well, as a grants assessor, what is it? I, I don't know. You've said one thing here and one thing there, so make sure attention to detail is something you look at. Make sure your your grant application is consistent in what it says throughout the whole application, because the last thing you want to do is leave your grants assessor not sure. Leave them asking questions about, I'm not sure how they're going to do this or what exactly they're going to do or whether it was this amount of money or that amount of money or you know, is it going to go for six months or eight months. If the grants, your grant assessor has questions and isn't really certain, then they're going to question the viability of your project. They're not going to be sure that your project is going to be able to achieve the outcomes that you've said and therefore you may not get the money. Um, that's not something you not, don't want to do. So this is just a quick snapshot of some of the things I've learned being a grants assessor. So I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, contact me um, via the website, whitneyconsulting.com.au or obviously my email, tara at whitneyconsulting.com.au. We are more than happy to talk to you about grants, tenders or business cases whenever you'd like. Thanks a lot, bye.